guys, what's going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Sun Beach TV. We're live now uh, from Miami. Um, and I hope you guys are ready for a very interesting interview because not everybody dares to do the naked interview. <laughs> and we've seen what's happened before, but let's see what happens today. We are here with Toasted the Terrestrial, and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about the band. He's going to tell us a little bit about maybe some experiences that he's had, um, and we'll kind of take it from there. You know, everything we do is right on the spot, live, and we let the interview kind of just flow. So uh, welcome, and remember that you have the chat open. If you want to ask any questions, you're free to do so. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good, good, good. Okay, good. Uh, let's start with, where are you from? Uh, I'm actually from Florida. I was born and raised here. I okay. live in Broward, but most of my stomping grounds are Miami, usually. I do a lot of my shows out here. Okay. And you have a Spanish background, kind of? Yeah, my mom's Cuban, and my dad, I don't know what he is. He's adopted, so I don't okay. really know on his side. Okay, well, you have some Cuban. I mean, I don't, I don't know anybody in Miami that doesn't have a little bit of Cuban in them. So. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, so we interviewed them a couple of weeks back um, in a bar in West Palm Beach, was it? Oh, uh, it was Margate, actually. It's Margate, where I live. Florida. Okay. And uh, they had a great event, very successful. And we did a short interview, and I said, you, you have to come so you could go more in depth with it because it was very loud there, you know, and I guess yeah. it's better to sit down. What made you be okay with doing a naked interview to begin with? Um. I just thought that naked interviews probably get a lot of attention and stuff. Okay. I liked what you were doing with, with your show and stuff, so I thought it would be a cool opportunity. Good, good marketing, yeah. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have no problem with nudity? Not at all. W what's, your, what's your point of view on that? Nudity is awesome. I mean, I wouldn't live in a nudist community, but I have a lot of friends that are into that lifestyle and stuff, so cool. you I mean, been I'm to not against beach? it. No, but no. I would go. You would go? Yeah. Well, what are you back? I don't know. <laughs> I just haven't really had the opportunity to rise. Like, hey, let's go to the nude beach. Now, now I'm going to see that this is on their list for maybe a couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, we'll probably go next week. Would <laughs> <laughs> now, see, very spontaneous. Would you take her with you? Yeah, I'd definitely take her with me. She <laughs> so loves to get naked. Is she, the, what does she look like underneath that? <laughs> I mean, like <laughs> I'm not alien. trying to be perverted. It's just you know I've only seen her with a T-shirt on, and I'm wondering how well it was actually made. Can, can we see like how? Oh, uh, like, she's pretty detailed. Like, like I don't know why you would hide. A I don't know. I mean, I'd rather alien. I'd rather have her like promote my brand and stuff. Okay, she's wearing my clothing. She's okay, flat cool. in the back. She's pretty yeah, yeah, flat. Yeah. In the back. No, you, by the way, I'm not trying to be perverted. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I just asked because it's so well made that, uh, you know, I don't oh know yeah, what an alien realistic. looks like, so whoever made her obviously had a lot of knowledge, and, mm. you know, you want to see how the arms are, how everything is really, so it's unbelievable. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your band. All right, um, well, we're Extraterrestrial Alliance, and okay. basically we make hip-hop music. Um, my producer makes really, really good beats. He dabbles in electronic music, too, so we do all different kind of stuff. Um, our name is Extraterrestrial Alliance because uh, I'm into aliens. And okay. I'm just really? Yeah. I did yeah. not know that. <laughs> <laughs> Extraterrestrial Alliance. How long have you guys been with that name? And like, when did um, you start? We've had the name probably for, I want to say, four years now because I've had T-shirts for about three. Okay, these are the T-shirts, right? Um, yeah, this is the second uh, branded T-shirt I have. We also had one before this that was short sleeve. Um, but yeah, we have tons of stuff on our merch line now. That's cool. When did you, Thank you? I mean, so you, you have like everything. Yeah, um, I've been serious about like my business and what I was doing for the past couple of years. But um, yeah, I started with one t shirt and then branched off to hats and then moved on to jackets, pins. I have pretty much like awesome. everything now. Thank you. I think there is a growth in UFO merchandise too. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know if you guys got a chance to see your set, but yeah. Um, and I, so I think you, you were like bef there beforehand, yeah. you know, so before everything started. Um, so why did you choose Aliens? Um, I had an experience that not many other people would, would really experience. Um, there's not many ways to put it into words, but I can imagine. I've seen some <laughs> things that a lot of people couldn't comprehend. But then again, a lot of things that normal people see on an everyday basis, they can't even comprehend fully. That's true. So. Especially today, right? People seem to like not be themselves, really. Mm -hmm. um, and you're fairly young, right? How old are you? I, can I just turned 24 yesterday. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> 24. it. 24. So you started when you were 19, 20? Yeah, just about. That's crazy. Okay, and when, you. do you remember like when your experience was? Um, yeah, roughly 2012 is when I really saw some things that got me into Aliens. The year of the apocalypse? <laughs> yep. You know, the when year everyone. where everybody said the world's going to mm -hmm. end. Did, were you one of these people that believed in that? I thought or? the world was going to end, but 
my world pretty much just started that that oh, year. Really? <laughs> Everything just started maybe, maybe kicking your past into gear. world ended. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and exactly. new one began. And that's how it happened for a lot of people too. Honestly, it, it closed and opened a lot of doors and portals for many people. Huh. I heard that there's a, somebody did like a really, really big party somewhere in Latin America. It was like the end of yeah. the world party. That's awesome. And they made a lot of money. So that was, you know, <laughs> nice. it's uh, the apocalypse party. Um, well, do you think that the world is going to end sooner or later? I'm not sure. I mean, who's to say? We can't really know that. <laughs> I guess. I mean, A lot of could. conspiracy theories. It could. I think. I think technology crashing is more of a a plausible thing than than the full apocalypse, like world ending. Right. But I think the world as we know it is probably going to end within the next ten years, and everybody's going to go crazy because we're so dependent on our phones and internet and sure. everything nowadays that people are just going to go nuts. And that might be the beginning of the end of the world for real once technology is gone, because no money, no technology, everybody's going to be freaking out and. I agree. Going crazy. <laughs> um, are you very dependent on technology as well? Or um, I okay. am more than I'd like to admit. But, <laughs> I mean, I think we all are at this point, And I'd like to break free from the matrix, but it's kind of hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's hard to disconnect sometimes. Uh, Derek is asking, have you been to Nevada? Um, I actually went to Burning Man this year. And that's, I didn't get to go to Area 51 or anywhere too close, but I was in Nevada for Burning Man, and it was crazy. It was a good heard, experience. Yeah, I did hear um, Burning Man is crazy. Yeah. In, a, in a good way, of course. Like, everybody's just themselves in a very peculiar way. Yeah. And it's just a way, I guess, to break free, right? Mm -hmm. So technology-wise, um, your music, obviously, you know, technology is something that draws it out there. Yeah. So, um, But I do agree, if the day of tomorrow the lights go out, I think... Do you think people be will become out. aggressive towards each yeah, other? Yeah, I think just people would be killing people for, for supplies and for stuff because there'd be no money, there'd be no control over food and water right. ration. So people would go crazy, I think. It would be a very scary thing. I think, uh, well, there's been a, a satellite, satellites that have gone down already, right? I think like so. I don't know too much about it, but I think so, yeah. And even like the cable you see sometimes going... <laughs> so maybe we're getting close to that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I want to hear about your experience. I know you're very private about this, and yeah. I do appreciate that, you know, because I think that um, back in the day, for example, I mean, back in the day when, like, television started and everything, I mean, um, there's certain t subjects that are still taboo. I think this one in particular is still one of them. Uh, just as nudity is still a taboo subject, we're kind of trying to break that. Um, but UFO, I think more than ever, now that technology is taking such a big step and YouTube and everything, um, people are starting to come out and talk about their experiences. Mm. And I always say you can, most of the people that do come out with their experiences, it's kind of like you have a lot to lose, but not so much to gain. In your case, it's actually the opposite, maybe because even your band is Extraterrestrial Alliance. So yeah. maybe you, you'll be able to connect to a lot of people that had the same kind of experiences and never talked about it. And I mean, you, ne you never really know, that's true, right? That's true. So All right, well, where um, were you? And how old were you? I'll bring us back to the setting. It was uh, <laughs> 2012. So I was probably 21. 18 or 19 years old. Okay. Um, I was hanging out with two other friends at the beach, and we were just sitting there in the sand hanging out, and out of nowhere, we saw these two ships that were, like, shaped like a sideways triangle, like a leaning triangle okay. um, that had, like, a light on each end of them, and we thought it was really weird, and they started getting closer and closer, but they didn't fly like planes. They almost flew, like, sideways, like if they were drifting. Okay. And so it was really weird. Um, but yeah, they started coming closer and closer, and then they lowered themselves into the water, and we saw them submerged to where we can only see lights under the water. It was really weird, something out of a sci-fi movie or something. <laughs> and um, well, we didn't see anything actually come off of the ship, but okay. we saw these shadow beings kind of come from where the ship was and then go onto the beach, which is really weird. Like, they, s then, like they swam and went to the Yeah, it, but they were like shadow feet. It wasn't really like a being like anything I've seen, it was just like shadows that we would see moving. It was just really weird. Um, yeah. And then the I energy. saw these other light beings too that I wouldn't really know how to describe them as except for they had... That same night? Two light, yeah, it was that same night. They had two lights, like one where our head would be and one where our like heart or our chest would be. Okay. And they were flashing different colors and patterns. Which I couldn't understand what they were saying, but it felt like they were trying to communicate with me. So and they um, came like close enough. Yeah, I mean or they were they weren't very close. They were probably maybe 
half a football field. Away. I don't really know measurement too well, but I would say like <laughs> half of a football field away from me. Okay. Um, but they were like flashing these lights like directly towards us, and I felt like they were talking to me through your mind. Tele yeah, telepathically. Telepath. Um, but it was just really weird. They were telling me that that if we don't start trying to do better for humanity, we're gonna be doomed soon, and that. The I mean, they were speaking to me about music because I was into music at the time, but they were telling me that the rap music, which I'm into, is going completely the wrong way and that there needs to be a hero or heroes to step in and kind of change things. And I know it sounds cliche because, like, I'm <laughs> trying to be like, but... Well, no, at least there's for really, me, it's nothing true, sounds though. cliche, there's, but, yeah. There's <laughs> few heroes out there that are here to really change stuff because the stuff that they're promoting nowadays is going the very, very wrong way. And I don't know, it's crazy that these aliens told me that this is <laughs> what it needed to be, but that's what they were telling me, I felt like. It was a very weird thing. But um, I tried to record the experience on my phone. I did get short clips of it, but it was in a very old phone. I don't have them anymore, but they you couldn't really see, phones? you couldn't see anything except for like shining lights. Like it could have been rave lights off in the distance that people were making fun of me that I would show. So I just stopped showing people because I was like, uh. okay, yeah, it was rave lights. Like, never mind. <laughs> um... But yeah, every time I tried to record them, I felt like I was being electrocuted. And I read up on the subject online of other people that have seen things, and they've mm -hmm. said the same thing, that every time they tried to get some kind of recording of it, they went into like electric shock or something that where their whole body felt like it was vibrating, and I couldn't move. It was the weirdest huh. thing I've experienced. But well, that's the first time I hear that. Maybe because of the electricity on the phone or something i mean that's maybe strange. or it could be some kind of defense mechanism that they have that they don't that they don't, they want, don't want you yeah they don't want you getting that kind of information on them so they just kind of so in your experience you would say the ones that you ran into were the good ones um i'm not sure to be honest but well, i mean the there's message lots was good, of yeah the though. message was good so i would say it was the good ones but um i mean there's really no no one to say who's yeah, yeah, good yeah. and who's bad and that kind of thing and also, like, I feel like a lot of, I feel like aliens, the term aliens is used very loosely. Because mm -hmm. there's aliens all over, like, we could be aliens. There's, there's aliens yeah. in microorganisms. Angels and demons could be aliens if they're perceived yeah. wrong. Like, I feel like everything is just, people deem it as, oh, that's aliens. Because I don't know, like, everything's a UFO that's in the sky because it's unidentified flying object. Right. So everything that we can not identify, we kind of think, oh, that's alien. That's an alien. <laughs> but... So um, I, g I can tell when you were telling the story that y y th this is the first <laughs> time that you said it. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can tell that you're still a little bit like afraid of what people are going to think. And um, it, do you think that it's, imp it's important for you that people to believe you or do you, would, would you um, not care if somebody comes out and says, I mean, oh, honestly, I don't care because I don't care what people think about me. I go you out dressed like a clown sometimes. So I don't care what people think about like me. Like an actual so clown? I went, well, not dressed like an actual <laughs> okay. clown, but I go with vibrant colors that I might look crazier than a clown sometimes. Well, it's, it's part of your personality. <laughs> but yeah, you I, don't, you, you know? I go out because I don't care what people think of me. I go out looking like crazy because it's whatever. So if people don't believe me, I don't really care. But I kind of stopped talking about it because it's not that people wouldn't believe me, but they were looking at me like I was crazy. Like people would tell me that. Oh, you you do drugs, you do this and that. I'm like, I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> I just, I've seen what I saw. You can tell me all you want, but like, people just don't believe it. They deem it as, oh, you're crazy. You need to go to the madhouse. And right. I don't know. I I saw what I saw, and whether or not people want to believe me, I'll probably tell some people. But I don't like going around blabbing. I could have went to the news station and be like, I saw it. But oh, they probably you would have never. Yeah, anyway. you would have never heard from me again. I would have gone missing <laughs> the next <Yeah>. day. <laughs> I mean, th there's, I think the news are pretty good in, in covering all this up. But um, I don't know. I've been noticing that more and more, especially starting last year and this year especially, 2017, that there are so many videos, like, out yeah. there. And you can tell they're not fake because they're filmed on your phone. And uh, nowadays people have very good 4K phones. Um, so I think that people that don't believe in it, it's just be, even if they had the alien right in front of them and it was real, they would just think, oh, it was just my mind going crazy and just not want to believe it. Yeah. Do you think people maybe are just scared of not knowing how to defend themselves from something that is unidentified? Yeah, people are just afraid of what they don't know. That's the problem a lot of times. People are just afraid of things that they can't comprehend. You think maybe it's like a mechanism of um, defense, I guess? If I yeah, don't believe it, it it's not going to hurt me? Yeah, it could be a defense mechanism. A lot of people are like, oh, la, 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 that's not there. <laughs> like, I can't see it. It's not here. Just like <laughs> for spirits or ghosts, somebody hears or sees a ghost in their house and they just run in the next room, shut the door. Oh, that's <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Nothing's there. But 
go under the blanket. There's really a, a spirit there. It's going to jump right through the door. I mean, it's yeah. going to be in your face whether you want it or not. So <laughs> you might face. as well just embrace it. I mean, if it's there, it's there. So um, <laughs> I believe, you know, everything is energy. So no matter, even like spirits, I mean, energy. beings from other planets. Um, I think it's so interesting, though. I mean, I think that the fact that you got a message that had to do with music and you were so interested in music. Um, can you specify a little bit in, in what what maybe you think they meant that the music today was bad? Is um, it the cursing or the I don't know. Message? Like the, the music I was listening, because I was listening to music while we were seeing them and while it happened, and they were telling me, like, this is the type maybe of music you need it. to make. <laughs> and they, they were telling me that. But um, I was listening to the Underachievers Indigoism, which is an album all about, like, spirituality and waking oh, cool. up your third eye and awakening to all the the beings and things around us that, that we wouldn't really perceive. And as I was listening to that, I mean, I had that experience, and they were telling me, like, this is the kind of stuff you need to make. Like, people need to make stuff like this, or else the world's going to go to a really bad state, which, I mean, it is right now. All these all these new rappers, you look at the Double XL cover. I don't know if you follow um, hip-hop, like, in the magazines no. and stuff, but there's something called the Double XL Freshman cover, which is a cover of uh, the magazine one month every year. Um, and they put all the, the who's going to be who this year artists on there. And this year, the, the past couple of years, you look on there, and probably like 10 out of the 12 people on there are all rappers that are like, oh, drugs this, Xanax that, like lean in my drink. Like it's promoting, drink. <laughs> it's promoting bad stuff. And like, they I don't know. That's, yeah, they talk about this. And you'd be surprised. I've, I work, I've, I don't, some I've, of the people <laughs> at the, the restaurant I work at, some of the kids are in high school, and they tell me about the kids in their school. These kids are popping like it's candy. These kids are taking pills like it's like it's a joke and it's scary. And that's what the music well, these days is influencing. It happened when I was in high school and I would see it uh, around. So I can imagine today because things have gotten yeah. so much worse. I mean, now not it's that like old. Openly but on the radio, <laughs> like Molly Percocet. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. Like that. It's openly on the radio. And they're promoting that oh kind of stuff. You know what? I just realized that. <laughs> and like I've heard the song, but I never actually processed it. Yeah, they're they're promoting oh some my God. bad stuff, and that's on the radio. Okay, before we continue with the music industry, <laughs> because I'm really interested in that, um, David asked, "Has this experience changed your life?" Um, I would say it changed my life, yeah, because it opened my mind to the fact that there was still stuff out there. Because before the experience, I really I mean, I believed that there were aliens out there, but I also had that doubt of like, oh, like, how do we know that there's anything else out there? Right. But then once I saw it, it's like, whoa, like, we're this tiny little piece of the universe. <laughs> like, why do we say there's nothing else out there? There's so much that we wouldn't even know are out there. But yeah, it, it changed my life um, in a way that, because it, it made me make the music, it made me have a topic for what I was really wanting to do. And I started making clothing about it. I started really embracing the whole alien thing because aliens are cool. And I've always been an alien all my life because I'm different from everything. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're an alien? <laughs> That's what I used to tell it to my niece when, you know, they used to ask something. I'm like, I'm an alien. Don't mess with me. <laughs> like, really? I'm like, yes. <laughs> I think we're all aliens, to be honest. But, yeah, I think I'm... I might even be more alien <laughs> than, the, than the rest of the aliens. Well, you know, yeah. if we were to think about movies, I would put you into the, um, what was it, Alien and Predator. You'd be <laughs> a predator because of the threat, you know? <laughs> so he awesome. kind of matches with it. Awesome. Somebody says, what, do you ha what does he have in his pocket that it, it's so big? Oh, this? Oh, probably my... <laughs> it's like something sticking what's, out what's of his side. What's in my pocket? All right, I Maybe got my case, an alien. my case for my teeth. I got my wallet, oh, yeah. that's it. And my keys, my lighter. Una para los dientes. <laughs> show, okay, can we show, podemos mostrar los dientes? Can we show his teeth? Because you, could, you can take this out and put these on, right? Yeah, they're, they're pull-ups. I've seen pull the gold ones, but it's the first time I've seen something like that. There's like a stone in there? Yeah, there's opal in there. There's opal. It's and very is that for there's not many people. Um, it's, opal has different properties and stuff, yeah, but I got it just because it's flashy. <laughs> and it's awesome. And I like opal. This is the first time I've seen like somebody actually have a stone. Uh, oh, it's nicer <laughs> than the gold. Thank you know, the you gold is you. just kind of different. <laughs> um, in your opinion, what are the best websites or blogs to review UFO incidents? Ooh, I'm honestly not very much into the internet or research as I should be. <laughs> um, I really, I go on the internet to post my music, to check who watched my music, and to post new updates, but... I should probably do more research and stuff. <laughs> I wish I could tell you which sites were better for UFO research. Can you tell me any sites for <laughs> UFO research? 
<laughs> I think cool. you guys know some sites, right? So That'd let them cool, know. Yeah. I think you should because if you're promoting something that is alien friendly, like yeah. you should probably start researching a little bit. Um, especially watching YouTube more often. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's like a new video of a ship somewhere like every day <laughs> now. Um, I gotta keep up on that. <laughs> Do, 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 do. do you believe, did you feel that the experience or the other components were more advanced from us humans? Like the, the ships that they were in? Is that what I guess, like, like, the, like components the beings that and the ships, I guess. Yeah, um, in a way, it kind of felt like they could have been us from the future. They could have been human beings from the future. Who knows? I'm, honestly, I don't know what they were, but the technology definitely was far ahead of what we have on this planet, I think, or at least from what I know of. Right. Well, you know, I mean, I've never thought about that, and I, I don't think it's us from the future. But if you think about it, I mean, haven't we, like, evolved? I mean, maybe sooner or later we'll be hairless mm -hmm. and tinier and would, you know, develop our brain beings. more. And exactly. So yeah, that was a good point. Never thought of that. <laughs> Do you believe that all aliens are demons? I don't demons. believe that all aliens are demons. I think that there are some people out there who believe that aliens are demons. But like I said earlier, I mean... People can perceive demons or angels or entities as aliens because they don't exactly know what they are. Right. People box anything they can't comprehend as an alien. Um, but no, I don't think all aliens are demons. I feel like demons, I feel like some aliens could be demons, but not all aliens are demons, and I don't think all demons are aliens. Confusing, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so, um... One thing that, well, we have talked about, uh, about this a lot, and we've even interviewed um, professors that study, you know, extraterrestrials and everything for a while. But one thing that they say is that um, when there are negative aliens that come from worlds, let's say, where there's more negativity than positivity, that they come with a lot of, let's say, uh, negativity around them. So they come with demons or they come with negative entities that actually support them and help them. Kind of like a, an army, I guess you could say. So, um... Makes a little bit of sense. Um, have you had any other experiences? Um, I've seen around that year and the few years after that, I saw a lot of ships that were really blowing my mind. Like, um, there was one time that this this one weird looking thing in the sky kind of looked like an airplane, but then like hovered really, really low right above my house. And then kind of hid behind a cloud, if that makes sense. And I started seeing these lights go around in a circle behind the cloud. Mm -hmm. It was really weird. I mean, I couldn't comprehend whatever I was seeing, but I think that was a ship. Um, this is all I've happening seen lots in Margate? Of ships. Yeah. It's we happened in Margate. Margate. It's <laughs> happened in Margate, Pompano, Fort Lauderdale. And always, like, near the beach? Yeah, a lot of times it's near the beach. Not always, but a lot of times. Do you um, think that there's... Um, you know, you said in the first experience that they went underneath the water. Do you think that there's how some people believe uh, subterranean? Um, oh, I feel like cities? yeah, they they could have possibly a base underwater and bases in um, mountains because I know that people have footage of these these weird UFOs, unidentified flying objects, flying into a mountain, almost like into a cave kind of thing. Okay. As a garage, like it's really weird, but I feel like they could have like places the little seven kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> They could have bases underwater and in the mountains, I think. Oh, never heard about the mountain thing. Yeah. We're learning a lot of new <laughs> stuff today. <laughs> so let's go back to the music. Okay, are you one of those people that believe um, maybe that uh, these really big big artists are um, talking about this stuff like drugs, alcohol, and sex because maybe it's a way of getting people hazed up and not really focused on the purpose of their life? Um. <laughs> <laughs> that was deep, right? <laughs> no, I think it could be partly to get them like what you're saying, hazed up and like, but it's not really from who they are as a person. I feel like they're getting paid and told right, to like talk you about in, like, these the things Illuminati, by certain. For I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't like putting names on it because it might well, not even be like that. Might not even true. be the initial name that they run on anymore. That name is ancient and buried, but they definitely do run under a bunch of different names and secret. Things Society. That they go, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, but I definitely think that Big Pharma has something to do with all these uh, all these artists talking about drugs and, and lean and all these different kind of things in their music and, and what do you think the purpose products. is? I think the purpose could be to dumb us down in a way, but also to promote their multi-million dollar business that they're making money on in the pharmacy and then right. turning around yeah, paying sure. their cops to arrest the same people that are getting messed up on these drugs illegally they i feel like i do believe the um the theory that they they planted drugs in 
in very bad places to get people, to keep people down. Yeah. They plant drugs in the hood to keep people the worst place possible. They don't want people to get better. They don't want our communities to get better because then there's no money in that. Right. If everybody's alive and well, nobody's dying. There's too many people populated and there's not enough money to go around for everyone. They want to keep it all to themselves. Right. So I'm guessing you're a pro-marijuana, um, medical marijuana I'm, guy, I'm right? I'm pro-medical marijuana, yes. Or you're pro-marijuana every <laughs> I'm, all the I'm way. I'm pro-marijuana every day. <laughs> <laughs> Creational, medical, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but um, I mean, the things that we've seen with people that have problems and when they take the oil or, you know, medicinal marijuana, it's just unbelievable. And you would think, well, why isn't this legal? It yeah. should have been legal a long time ago. So, you know, what you're saying has a lot of base and proof behind it. Um, let's see what else you got here. Um, Jenny has has Jenny has names for aliens on set. Your, ha, does your friend have a name? Oh, this um, <laughs> all right. She does have a name. Um, she's actually the second gen. There was a first generation one that her name was Etta. She was with me yeah. for a year and a half. Um, she actually broke while we were packing for Burning Man. So rest in peace, Etta. Mm -hmm. But um, and the name Etta stands for ETA for Extraterrestrial Alliance. Oh, the good. music group. Um, but yeah, her new name is TT, this new one that I got. TT. Um, TT. <laughs> it stands for Toasted Terrestrial. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, TT, meet Peter back there. <laughs> He's Aww. been there for a couple of years. <laughs> Don't fall in love, please. It'll be really <laughs> weird babies. <laughs> All right. Um, I know, Peter. What do, you think the l what do you think the lights are? Do you think they generate electricity? Um, the lights coming up. I'm not sure if they generate electricity, <coughs> but I think it might have been a way for them to communicate, or I think they might have just been light beings altogether, and that was their way of of presenting themselves in in the moment and stuff. I mean, I don't know how. I don't exactly know what it was to be right. honest, but I don't think that they were generating electricity. I think that they might have had the ability to generate it if they wanted to, but I don't think that that's what the lights were. But I feel like when they put me under the electromagnetic, electromagnetic shock, I feel like that was definitely them producing electricity. <laughs> <They're trying to laughs> I feel like stop. they can if they want to. <laughs> so um, do you think that in the near future or far future, which one, um, that more people will have maybe encounters with UFOs? Um, I think so, but the only problem is we have to stop being so scared. The reason that they don't want to show themselves <laughs> is because everybody freaks out and they go, oh my God, it's the, it's the apocalypse, it's the end of the world, the sky's falling. Like, that, that's totally right. We, we don't really embrace it. Like, oh, hey, like, nice to meet you. How are you doing? We're like, oh my God, what's it going <laughs> to do to me? I need to kill it before it kills me. Like, people freak out. When, when I bring true. this thing to parties, you don't know how many times, there's probably like, Four to eight times a night, she gets punched in the face by some <gasps> random person that just comes up and like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I dude, she's a lady. Really. Like, how dare you? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> so many times. I don't understand it. I'll never understand Maybe they it. like the texture of it and their hand bounces back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, oh my but God. yeah. Dice que hay gente que le pega, va a una fiesta con él y le da una piña porque se le da la gana. Well, I do believe, I, I do agree with what you said, that people will react, even if they're good or bad, doesn't matter, because, you know, just like there's negativity, there's positivity, so, yeah. like, there's a good person, there's a bad person, you know, but, um, yeah, I don't think people are, I don't think you're ever really prepared to have an experience <laughs> with a UFO. No matter even yeah. if you talk about it and you're even if you study it, whatever. I don't think you ever really. Yeah, I was in shock when I saw it for the first time. <laughs> I was like, I, don't know. <laughs> I didn't know what to believe. Uh, I didn't yeah. know if it was really happening. So but tell me, uh, let's go back to your music. Tell me a little bit of um, how many songs have you written? I know you write your own songs, um, right? Yeah, <laughs> I've written. Shoot, now I mean, recorded. We probably have. I'd say almost 70 or 80 songs now. <laughs> That's a lot. Because we've been doing it for a while, yeah. But, like, um, I have a lot unreleased, too, that I've written. But um, really, professionally, the past couple of years, we've probably released a good 30 or 40 songs that... That's I a lot, really especially because you're independent. So that's good for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm working on an album, though. I want to start selling my music and take it as serious as possible. Um, the you're next not doing project, iTunes yet? No, I haven't no. yet, but this, this project I'm about to release is called Sagittarian Samurai. That one's going to be on iTunes, Spotify, um, all, the, all the distributors online. 
But um, it was supposed to release on my birthday yesterday, but I was having trouble with the album art, so okay. I'm still working on it. It's going to be coming soon, though. No, you don't want to rush it. You want to yeah. be at the mm -hmm. right moment at the right time. Yeah. Um, so can you maybe give us, I don't want you to sing, unless you want to, but maybe um, a phrase or, or the lyric of like what you mean All by right. positive rap and what, you know, in your mind, what, what that means. The only thing I know is I don't know. Where this all leads and when we pass on, I don't know where our souls go. I wish I could say that we all shine on like rose gold, but who's to say the skies ain't gray whenever we float home? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, that's deep. So, do you write this at any moment, like when it comes? Um, or yeah, a lot like of a times, a lot of times it's just in the moment, like when, when I hear something in my head, I just have to like write it down right away. Um, sometimes I sit and write and I really get into it, but a lot of times it's just like, right now this idea comes to me, I put it down. Sometimes I combine a lot of different ones in the same song, and sometimes I can write one song in 15 minutes. It really depends on how creative right. juices are flowing. Right. Um, let's see, what's the name of Have you posted the video, or have you ever captured one of these sightings with your phone or any other type of recording equi equipment? Um. I didn't post any videos. I had a very short video, but it was only a few seconds, and you couldn't really see anything clearly because it was really dark <coughs> at, at the beach. Um, all you could really see was the flashing light, and like I said earlier, like people thought it was just rave lights, so I decided right. not to put it anywhere. Rave, so lights, anyway. rave lights in the middle of the, of yeah, the, of the, the beach, beach, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I haven't posted it. Um, I was trying to get video, though, and like I said, like they put me in some kind of electric magnetic shock or something. I felt like I was being tased. Like every time I would try to record, I, my whole body felt like it was being electrocuted, and then as soon as I stopped recording, it would stop. Right. So I don't know what it was, but I wasn't able to capture anything because <laughs> of that. I didn't, I, I didn't don't try it again, it. maybe. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to mess with them. Uh, Derek says, your experience belongs to you, and others should not judge if they have not been in your shoes. That's true. Yeah. That's very true. Uh, David says, have you ever had a paranormal experience other, other than UFO encounters? Um, I have had a lot, and they were around that same time. I think right before that I started to have encounters, I saw the spirit of my mom's best friend who just passed away like months mm -hmm. before it. Um, she came to me in a dream as a dragonfly, and I woke up, and there was like this light, like almost like a fairy flying around my room that looked like a dragonfly, and I just like felt her presence out there with me. And um, the next day, I actually saw her because she was our neighbor, also. So wait, I heard. I mean, if it, you, if it, if, um, it was a dragonfly in your dream and what you saw, but you just felt that it was her. Yeah, it like, was a dragon. Well, it was a dragonfly in my dream, but she was like, it was kind of talking to me and telling and me. And it was that, like, like her like, voice. Yeah, and okay. she was telling me that she's okay. She was basically telling me like, like I passed on, like I'm okay. Tell everybody yeah. I love them. And like, I woke up and then it was like a light flying around my room, almost like a little fairy. And it was just really weird that I woke okay. up and it was still there flying around. Um, but the next day I was actually out front of my house and I saw, cause she was our neighbor too. I actually saw a light on the porch where she used to sit and smoke her cigarettes. And it was just, there's no light on the porch, but it was just lit just up glowing. like there was a light. And I saw like almost like a chat, like the outline of a person there. It almost looked like a white ghost, like a little, white light of a person there and mm -hmm. I was like what is going on and I walked closer <laughs> to it it was it looked like a person sitting there but it was just light it, it stayed there it didn't go away it didn't go away oh it was really well, weird well at least you had good experiences mm -hmm. I mean I wouldn't want to have I've somebody had, here that I've had some <laughs> bad too but I don't I mean they've scared me and I was I don't know one <laughs> give us one and that's, that's I mean <laughs> I don't really know I don't remember any of them really but I, I kind of like block that kind of stuff out of my, well, yeah, <laughs> my that, memory. That's good. Yeah, I mean, why keep that, you know? Yeah, so did right. you tell your mom about this when it happened? Um, Yeah, but it was a while ago. I don't know or if she remembers. Or even the, like the UFO. <laughs> 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 even like the UFO experience. Like, does she know or is she going to find out when um, she Oh, no, she knows about the UFO okay. stuff. And what, does she, what does she think about that? I mean, she probably thinks I'm crazy as everyone <laughs> else does. But no, my mom doesn't judge me. I'm kidding. <laughs> she, she loves me for who I am no matter what. And she knows that... Deep down inside, there, do you think she, she believes you? Or? Yeah, I think she believes me All for right. sure. Like <laughs> she, she definitely believes me. She knows that I wouldn't lie to her. <laughs> well, I don't really see like that's what I'm, that's what I said at the beginning. Like I don't really see the purpose of people lying about this. Yeah. I mean, you're definitely nowadays at least it's not going to get you any good attention. Maybe when they come out and everybody sees them, you know, oh okay, yeah, you were right. <laughs> but um, I think that people like you are necessary, especially today, because. Every time there are being, there, people are having more sightings, like, and it's all over the world, really. 
Um, so, yeah, you are going to be like pioneer. You know, everybody that does talk about this is going to be a pioneer sooner Speaking or later. Speaking of, I heard NASA was <laughs> looking for new hirees that could uh, help save and commun help communicate with aliens, something like that. I don't know. I read some article that NASA's looking. So, what's up, <laughs> NASA? <laughs> I'll send you my email. <laughs> <laughs> would you would you would you I'd, I'd be up take for a that? job with NASA, yeah. I don't know what kind of training's in for it and what they expect me to exactly do to oh talk man, I to them. Trust but them. I, I mean would <laughs> I would probably try to work for NASA. I like NASA. Yeah. I like NASA, but I don't think they they don't really own anything they do, you know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I think if something like this were to happen, <laughs> which it's happened many times, it's just that we don't really know about. Um well like you said, you had a telepath tel telepathical <laughs> communication kind of. And uh, I think that's the main way of how they communicate, you know, because yeah. they're so advanced and really, do you meditate, have you ever tried meditating? I have, um, I don't do it enough. I haven't done it in a couple of years because my lifestyle is just so fast paced. I don't <laughs> find the time to stop. But honestly, I believe this one saying, and I really should start doing it, but it says meditate once a day, only when you have time and the days that you don't have time, meditate twice a day or something or meditate for an hour. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. It says meditate for 10 minutes a day unless the days you don't have time, <laughs> then meditate for an hour a day on okay. those days that you don't have time for it. Because you should be meditating every day and make time for it. I think you should. I mean, some people think meditation, oh, it's so boring, but it just really means take time for yourself mm -hmm. and just calm your mind, you know. But I think you do that with your music, so I don't really think you do yeah, much I of find, it. Yeah, I find other ways to be in a meditative state. So yeah. I feel like, honestly, I mean, I can't say I haven't meditated in years because I meditate all the time, but I haven't actually sat there and, like, blanked my mind and sat in lotus position and, like, meditate, meditate. But I feel like you can meditate in anything you do. You can meditate while driving a car. You can meditate while, well, while don't doing do that. No, but <laughs> I'm not saying, like, the, but it's like a relaxed state of mind, like, state of being. You can meditate while doing anything really in life yeah. like i meditate while making my music so that's that keeps me in a calm meditative state good all right let's see what else you guys got over here um do you think that do you think we take the shape of aliens or do you th do they take the shape of us also when other forms visit other planets or solar systems do you think they take on their forms Hmm. That's a very specific question. By yeah, the way, these are all very opinions. Complex. And, uh, you know, <laughs> that was very, very complex. <laughs> very complex uh, question. Um, wow. Run it back a little bit? Or do from the beginning? Cause that, that <laughs> was like you guys a two are part too smart question. for us. <laughs> two part. You lost me. Do you think we take the shape of aliens or do they take the shape of us? I don't think we take the shape of aliens. Yeah, we don't take the shape of them, <laughs> but I do feel like they kind of molded us. Like we're almost like a science experiment to them. Yeah. Um, I'll get more into that. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I think I think they do. I think they do take the shape of us in a way like when they want to come do something here, but they don't want us to freak out like, oh, my God, what is that in front of me? They they'll take the place of a being and right. as one of us. They do have cloaking devices like that. Um, and I do think they live amongst us. There definitely are aliens on this planet that have been here for a while. That yeah, <laughs> agreed. Know about. Um, but yeah, what was the second part of the question? The second was me. also, I know I didn't understand the second one either. Also, when other forms visit other planets or solar systems, do you think they take on their form? Yeah, that's, that's kind of the second part of the first question. Yeah, I do think that they take the form of us or other planets when they go to the planet. They probably do take form of the beings that live there to try to blend in and and I don't know. I think that, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Again, guys, these are all just opinions. You know, it's not like, I mean, we're not here saying this is what it is. Like, <laughs> I mean, you, there isn't any facts about this. So it's just uh, we're just sharing our opinions and just, you know, having fun. That's all. Um, do you believe, do you think that there is aliens that can completely just transform into shapes or people or transparent? I think that they can shape yeah. shift for sure. I, I think so, too. I think um, it, it's kind of also like spirits, you know, like they're you don't see them, but if they want you to see them, they will make sure mm -hmm. their energy is strong enough for you to see them. Right? As good as yours, they say, yeah. <laughs> um, I feel they choose who they communicate with, so we can spread positive experiences with open mind folks, like being on Miami TV. <laughs> yeah. True. Well, you guys Very are true. all positive, so that's true. <laughs> um, no, and I'm not kidding. Like, what you're doing takes guts, you know, especially, like, you're not a person that you again, it's the first time you do it and you, you don't make your music based on the stories that you're telling, you know? So some people actually want to make everything about the story and they yeah. want to get attention because of what they saw and how they saw it and 
you know, just go crazy. That like a gift shop in Nevada, right, right. by <laughs> Area 51. Right. Come try the alien <laughs> soup and get your alien straw and your alien milkshake. <laughs> the gift shop in Nevada is where that little alien comes from. <laughs> and th that, that's the guy that asked you, have you been to Nevada? Yeah. <laughs> I want to go, though. I definitely do want to go check out Area 51. Even though I feel like a lot of the stuff around there is just like little gag gifts and stuff, I definitely want to go for the just to say I've been there and yeah. experience it. And I do know there's a lot of sightings out there, so... If you've seen sightings out there and you, you're good on that, let me know. <laughs> Take me on a trip. All right. Um, we're, we're about to finish, but let's see. What do you think? Um, what do you think or have you heard the strange sounds that are being heard throughout the world? Oh, yeah. Okay, the trumpet sounds. Yeah, I've seen those. Um, yep. I'm not. Honestly, I don't know what they could be. Um, I definitely have seen the videos of where people have heard that stuff. Oh, what would you do wow. if you heard it? Like what would I do if I heard it? I would. <laughs> They're pretty loud. Like I would probably loud. start trying to find other people who know about aliens <laughs> and <laughs> see what they say about the matter because this is that would be very scary. But yeah, I think it's weird. They say it's something to do with like the Earth plates, the yeah, tectonic <laughs> movement and stuff. But I don't think it has. I don't know. It could be. You believe in that? It could be some kind of warning. <laughs> It yeah, could be a warning that they're trying to send us from another planet. Like, hey, you guys are going the wrong direction. Turn around. So for those that do want to take in on this, it is a warning. <laughs> uh, and if you don't want to believe it, great. But um, it, it's, a, it's a warning that, yeah, that they're coming. And it, uh, apparently it takes a certain amount of time for them to send a signal to our Earth. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, this is information gathering from specialists and people that know about this. Um, so when they send out, let's say, the sound, or kind of like back in the day, you know, with the tribes used to fight, they used to send that howling sound kind yeah. of thing. So the thing is that sending it from planet to planet, it takes a lot of time to get here. So it's been happening since 2008. Imagine that's a long time. <laughs> and for them, maybe it's like 20 minutes and they're yeah. here. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we got to change. We're in the verge of, you know, just stuff. <laughs> but do you think that maybe, you know, we, we talked about like 2012 and the apocalypse, but do you think that the things that have been going on, like the natural disasters, people acting out, do you think that kind of has to do with something that might be ha coming later or it could be a um, change? I don't know. I feel like, um, and I'm not big on the Bible. I'm not a big Bible person, but I feel like a lot of things, people are saying a lot of things from like revelations are starting to happen. And a lot of um, biblical things are actually happening, which are scary. Like the red moon and like, I, I can't think of a lot of them right now, but there's been a lot of stuff that, it, that apparently they predicted. Um, I lost the question. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it happened, yes. <laughs> so the, the last naked interview that we did, uh, halfway through the show, uh, I asked the person to sing a song, and he's like, I forgot. <laughs> and I'm like, I told him, I'm like, it might happen to you. So, But no, 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 we've talked about so much. Like, yeah. you're doing awesome. You're Thank doing you. super cool. Are you comfortable? Yeah. So you, like, do you feel like I'm wearing clothes, or is it still weird? <laughs> <laughs> it's not really weird for me. The it's question of normal. the show you know yeah, it feels normal. Like were, yeah it feels normal. have you ever been interviewed by a naked person i haven't have you ever been with a naked woman that it I wasn't mean, like a couple <laughs> i mean <laughs> like but just like hanging out like naked i mean yeah yeah I have. oh really yeah oh wait, I have, like burning i said man. a lot of my friends are, are very like burning man right with, yeah well burning man yeah i've definitely seen a lot of naked people <laughs> chilling there um and i've been to a couple burns where i've seen that but a lot of my friends like i said are very open with nudity and i have a few friends that just chill around their apartment completely nude yeah. They don't like clothes. I mean, I wouldn't wear clothes. I didn't have to either. Wait, don't say it's that. Not that it's not your that shirts. I have to, but yeah, I do need stuff. Like that. <laughs> That's why wear I wear clothes, clothes so I can advertise my own stuff. It's like that. You can never say you can't wear. You don't wear clothes if that's bad marketing. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of open desert, Nevada. Um, yeah, nice. Hello, where can we find your music again? You can find my music on SoundCloud, on Datpiff, on YouTube. Um, just search "Toasted the Terrestrial" online, or go to soundcloud.com backslash the real toasted all one word the mm. real toasted the real toasted <laughs> i have some music videos online too check those out on i YouTube. saw one of the music videos yeah. it was strange <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty weird <laughs> it was, i mean i was i wasn't ex i was expecting strange but i wasn't expecting that strange i mean i felt like i was like in a wormhole or something <laughs> <laughs> but you know what it was the colors yeah. It was so crazy on the colors, but the editing was really good. Do you guys do that Thank yourselves you. as well? Um, One of them, if it was Don't Sleep that you watched, I did edit that Probably. one myself. Yeah, I edited that one. 
Yeah, it definitely um, makes you not sleep. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that was my first um, my first time editing also. It was my first try at that. Cool. Thank you. Very cool, very cool. We appreciate you being with us, members and friends of Miami Team. <laughs> I feel like they're closing the show for me. <laughs> it's like, okay, thank you very much. See you later. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Did I miss anything? No, we talked about the experience. We talked about your music. Mm -hmm. um, so are you going to continue to spread oh, positive yeah. vibes through your music? Mm -hmm. um, are you hoping maybe, like, what's your goal? Like, what are you looking um, all right, my goal is to start touring. I want to start touring early 2016, the first couple months. I've 2016. already been, I mean, <laughs> I'm, like, wait, you I'm, were still, I'm still in 2012 <laughs> in my mind sometimes, too. I'm like way back there. 20, we're 2017 now, 2018, Almost I meant to say. But yeah, beginning of 2018, I want to start touring. Okay. Yeah, but um, long-term goals. I want to start getting my music on the shelves in every, uh, every record store. <laughs> I want to get a vinyl printed. There are still there record still, stores. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, just got a, I just got a vinyl um, player myself, actually. I just got a record really? player the other day on Black nice. Friday. Yeah, so I got a couple of vinyls. I want to eventually get my music on vinyl for sure. Um, yeah, because you think that the, um, the lights are going <laughs> to yeah, go technology out. technology so. might go out. You never know. <laughs> you need the vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I definitely want to be able to make enough from my music. I don't want to be filthy, freaking rich. I don't want to own 12 houses, but I want to make enough money from my music that I can make a living off of what I love doing cool. and help my homies and my family out with that. What do you think um, Like your purpose is behind everything? Is it maybe to send a positive um, message to yeah, younger it's people? To, or? It's to send a positive message. It's to get everybody kind of realizing that we're all family, we're all one, and to stop working against each other and working against the grain because nobody makes it anywhere fighting against each other. Right. We have to really oh, work together right. if we want to make it anywhere. Wait, is that part of the song? A song? You should make it part of a song. No, I that should. was good. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a quote. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Interesting. Good luck with your music, says James. <laughs> thank you. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. Mm -hmm. And uh, you you're me. invited to be back anytime. Whenever you have another experience, that. you know, right. coming over, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> and uh, I guess you can go ahead and promote the music one more time. If All you right. Want. Well, um, you can check my clothing out first off on Instagram on E T A L I E N C E, E T Aliens. And then I got my music on SoundCloud or Datpiff. Um, <laughs> shout out my producer, the Green Bandit. Green Bandit makes them fire beats if you're looking for beats. Um, SoundCloud backslash The Real Toasted. Instagram The Real Toasted. Um, I'm on Twitter and Facebook also at The Real Toasted. The Real Toasted. The Real Toasted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for being with us. Uh, love you. Have an amazing evening. And thanks for watching Miami TV. Stay positive. Adios.